weeks in public display and it's a place in the UN I have to write places in it uh, in my paper to my my paper to my paper to my paper is to uh, show that there is no um, uh, contradiction between the principle of the universal uh, destination of goods and the right to profit. The special teaching of the church uh, since uh, Pope uh, Leon the Thirteenth uh, um, has been in favor of the limited state interventionism as I threw it. Um, uh, but many commentators uh, today uh, uh, of, the church, of the church consider the interventionism as a necessary tool uh, to uh, oppose or rather to limit individualism, constitutionalism, and um, liberalism. But Mises, Mises maintains that in the free market economy, the possession of a means of production is always associated with uh, the social responsibility. And this is the reason why I have been studying the, uh, the Austrian School of, uh, of Economics. Because uh, studying is, you know, not knowing Mises, I see that the state interventionism uh, should be uh, limited. The purpose of my paper is to show that the principle of the universal destination of goods is achieved only under the right to private property. And the role of the state should be limited to protect this right as a necessary tool to achieve this goal. So in the parable of the workers in the vineyard, the landlord says, don't I have the right to do what I want with my money? So we see the church defends the use of property rights, but at the same time teaches about the universal destination of goods. And I don't see any contradiction between uh, the, this principle and, the, and, and this right. The nature of private property, according to Mises, private ownership of production is the basic institution of the market economy. It is a human invention that appeared in the early period of history when people appropriated with their own power what previously was no this property. and appeared in the early period of, of history when people appropriated with their own power what previously was nobody's proper, uh, property. This way of thinking is close to the, uh, the concept of St. Thomas Aquinas, who believed that private property came from uh, establishing the positive of human law. The Second Vatican Council adds that the property gives a human person an opportunity to perform a various tasks in the, so in the society. The third teachers that individual ownership has its origin uh, in human work. In the same way, uh, the beginning of the property is perceived by Mises. Uh, all property comes from the original appropriation and lasts until the owner voluntarily gives it up or loses it against uh, his own will. So this reasoning is a part of the Christian tradition which does uh, uh, occupy the theft. The seventh commandment do not still pass a negative form, but this prohibition should be understood as the norm arising from the positive order as we see in the Bible. It's a very strong evidence that God's will expressed in the Bible shows that people should own the goods on this, uh, uh, goods on this earth which are created by God. Question private property and all attempts to limit it are therefore contrary to God's commandments. So the seventh commandment defends the natural bond between man, created in the image and likeness of God, and the material world. And John Paul II says, depriving a person of the possibility of private possession is therefore a serious obstacle to free decision making. John Paul II teaches in the encyclical letter, Sete Simus Amnus, I uh, throw it as the most uh, free market oriented uh, church document, <coughs> So the Pope says that man deprived of private property and the opportunity to earn a living thanks to his own entrepreneurship is not able to understand his dignity as a person and cannot create a genuine human community. So unlawful misappropriation of one's property does not occur but occur only in totalitarian uh, systems. Mises says that all those in political power 
have an innate tendency to stretch their domination to control the lives of their own citizens. The only obstacle that stands in their way is the institution of private property. It sets limits to the authoritarian actions of governments, creating for the individual the necessary space for, the, for his autonomous intellectual, spiritual, and material development. So according to uh, Mises, the sphere of coercion and violence extends uh, beyond the sphere of private ownership and, and the free market. The same perception of private property is present in the teaching of the Second Vatican Council and very, very often by many commentators is uh, overlooked. According to the fathers of the Council, individual forms of possessing goods leave each man with the essential space necessary for personal and family autonomy and should be considered as an extension of human freedom. For this reason, the church demands that property ownership be fairly available to all and refuses to resort uh, to, uh, all, uh, to forms of shared ownership. Mises claims that man with, uh, within the free market is free to act in the sphere of private property and his choices are fine. Christian tradition has never upheld, uh, upheld uh, the property rights as an, uh, an absolute principle. But it should be emphasized, however, that the principle of the universal destination of goods does not weaken and does not destroy the right of private property, which is inseparably connected with uh, to the human freedom. Mises, in his uh, uh, famous essay, uh, Economic Calculation in the Socialist Commonwealth, says that the socialist central planning and the overthrow of private property leads to the elimination of economic calculations and this, market, and this marks the end of all economic rationality. Economic calculation is an uh, indispensable compass that enables people to move around in the social division of labor. As far as I uh, see it in the church, in the strategy of the church, many commentators don't know about that. There's something is missing in, uh, in our teaching and uh, I recommend to all those who make comments on the strategy of the church to go back and to read what was written by Mises 100 years ago. This is the economic calculation in the socialist commonwealth. That something is not uh, being enough stressed uh, by the commentators in the church. But it's essential <coughs> to understand uh, human dignity when the, uh, uh, John Paul II says uh, that uh, about human dignity and he relates it to the uh, uh, private property rights. And there's another problem in the church that we don't, many commentators don't uh, understand uh, and they uh, Mm, uh, they oppose to the subjective theory of value. By buying and abstaining from making, um, making purchase, uh, purchases in the, in the free market, the consumer demonstrates his immediate preferences and wishes. Consumer preferences may be open to criticism from a moral point of view, but value evaluation is always a personal and subjective matter. The consumer chooses what he thinks serves him better to achieve his or her own goals. No one is called to determine what it could make a person happier or less happy. In a free market economy, choosing a goal is a personal, subject, and individual matter of the acting person. Nobody or nothing in the market makes economy forces meant to uh, 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 in the free market economy, forces men to think and believe in homo economicus terms. Every human action has its cost and profit, but the allocation of means uh, to achieve uh, uh, chosen goals depends entirely on the person taking action. For Mises, for the Austrian School of Economics, satisfaction and well being are the subjective concepts. The value of market goods is a relationship that is deeply rooted in personal subject to valuation, acts and depends on individual judgment and a particular choice. It should be distinguished. Uh, this should be distinguished from ethical relativism, which claims that truth is subjective uh, and is uh, made created by an individual, acting individual. 
Subjectiveness in Mises indicates the dynamism of human actions that is always a response to, a, to new circumstances in which man must constantly make new choices. Such understanding stresses the fact that human action is based on a permanent subject, the personal I, in which his, each deed is rooted. This is also very well explained uh, uh, in the book uh, The Acting Person by Karol uh, Wojtyła, later elected to Popper, and also in, the, in his encyclical letter, Veritatis Plan. So there is no uh, no problem, the subjective uh, theory of value has nothing to do with uh, uh, ethical relativism. The concept of freedom and subjectivity in Mises indicates the autonomy of the individual in the economic sphere in which he is independent of the precepts of foreign individuals or collectiveness and in his contact is governed by uh, his own will. This autonomy results from the very human nature, uh, therefore each human person has a space of action in which he is freely and independent, and the basis for this freedom in the economic sphere is private property. So the combination of freedom and subjectivity guarantees that human action corresponds to his dignity, which belongs only to man as a person. Mises recognizes the essential elements of the free market, another one which is very often overlooked by uh, contemporary uh, commentators of the social teaching of the church. The free market economy is characterized by the fact that the very acting person is a means at the same time, a uh, goal for himself and a means for other people in their attempts to achieve their own goals and benefits. So that's, we can see now that the concept of a consumer sovereignty uh, that is proposed by Mises does not mean tyranny and oppression. Man is completely free to the, the, define consumer preferences. He may not, own, not sell goods or services to whom he has a moral objection, but he must then be ready to give up the profit he could make from such a venture. So in modern social teaching of the church, there is an opinion shared by many commentators the public authorities have the right to make um, sure that someone does not abuse private property uh, to the disadvantage of a common uh, good. John Paul II exp uh, explains that the state interventionism should be limited, if possible, in order not to create a new type of state, welfare state. So, <coughs> Mises, <coughs> so the, uh, the uh, the commentators of the teaching uh, of the church suggest that the property often becomes an opportunity to, for greed, which becomes an excuse to uh, not to follow uh, the common good. But Mises regards this way of thinking as inappropriate because it uh, offers fail to recognize the importance of the forces they condemn as immoral functioning of this market. The market is not dealing with perfect individuals. He must consider the man as he is, and as I, 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 I do, as I regard uh, human beings as sinners, we are not perfect. As, uh, replacing the profit motive, which uh, is the leading factor in the private ownership of the main means of production, by moral motives, would damage the purpose and efficiency of the market. Egoism, greed, and individuals' pursuit of his own goals are not uh, inconsistent uh, with the overall social production process as long as man <coughs> for his own interests uh, remains in the space defined by the limits of private ownership. In the church's social teaching, one of the main arguments for private property is that it is important for maintaining and protecting the family. Leo XIII taught that family property and uh, in the church, uh, the family is primary institution and superior to the state. He says that this is a factor of uh, the, the family property is an important factor of family unity. It allows any fa the, uh, the family to take over the heritage, which uh, they pass on to their children. Family ownership also ensures family autonomy and protects against state interference 
in our life, uh, we can uh, see it uh, in, uh, in the principle of sensibility that we have uh, in the society of the church. That is also, you see, very often overlooked. So, that uh, this analysis of Mrs. Uh, uh, thoughts ultimately leads us to the conclusion that the principle of uh, wise produce and uh, the universal destination of goods can be fully re realized only within the free market uh, structures based on full respect for private property without the need to resort to the state interventionism. This corresponds to the central teaching of the church for whom the private ownership is not only a tool for respecting the principle of the universal destination of goods, but also a natural extension of the sphere of human freedom, giving the acting person a new point in personal relationships with others in the society. Mrs. Hurst uh, to see, uh, asked to see that interventionism reduces a human person to one of the mechanical elements in the social division of labor and leads to the disappearance of the concept of human person as an independent subject of moral decision. John Crosby, an American philosopher, in his book The Selfhood of the Human Person, uh, rightly notes that the state frequently treats an innocent man as if he, uh, his life belonged to them and they could free have it at their disposal, whereas in reality it belongs to men. The violation of the rights of a person in an attempt to dispose of what is that person's own, uh, what is that person o uh, person's own, and commit a, uh, and commit a kind of theft against the very being of the person. So our analysis leads to the statement that only full respect of private property, which according to Mises, it is the foundation of a, uh, the free market economy creates social conditions for the affirmation of human dignity, guarantees the necessary space for negative freedom, for fulfilling one's vocation, and gives a chance and opportunity to practice the love of neighbor, because giving away someone else's goods is not a child you have. Thank you very much. Is there any question or comment? Thank you. Yes. So, um, thank you, Jacek, for a uh, wonderful presentation. So, uh, I wanted to take it a bit farther from your uh, presentation because I believe that most of us would be very happy to see uh, more uh, people within the church commenting and presenting these issues the same way that you do. So, uh, what's your perspective on this happening in, in the near um, future? And uh, how would you uh, comment on Austrian economy getting more uh, exposition within the church among the clergy? You see, as far as I'm concerned, you see, I don't see that uh, more people than I, uh, for instance, in Poland, where is the United States and the Institute, uh, the Lord Acton Institute, and uh, even in the United States, uh, there's a very, very limited group of people in the church that uh, looks, uh, regards, you see, the Austrian School Economics as a tool, as an interesting tool, you see, you know, and the subject to study in order to understand the human, uh, mm. uh, human action. So that's. Uh, uh, the problem is that we abandon you see, the, the philosophy of uh, St. Thomas Aquinas and we don't uh, look in that uh, way uh, at uh, the freedom is not uh, as much appreciated as it uh, used to be. So we think in terms of social uh, justice more and that, is that it doesn't help us you see, you know, to, uh, to understand uh, the, the, the human action and the free market. So it's the reason why we oppose because we don't understand and uh, what we call, what we see in the world now, uh, even the Pope, uh, uh, all, all the Popes you see, you know, they criticize uh, what is in the, in, in the world now, and they call it capitalism, but of course it's not capitalism, it's the interventionism, and what, uh, how they want to sort out this problem to propose more state interventionism. So this is the problem, you see, you know, that we don't have capitalism, there's no free market, if we had a, a free market, I wouldn't be here. Uh, I wanted to ask you, you didn't mention creativity, but I think creativity is a, such a human, uh, such so important for human dignity, and it was also part of the economy, a very valid part of the economy. 
But I think it's also covered in church papers. Is it? No, it's not anymore, I would say, because uh, more what is true is the, is the social justice than the creativity. Because creativity is a very much related to the human freedom and, uh, uh, and uh, property rights. If we don't speak about the uh, uh, talk an, uh, anymore uh, as much as we used to do about the property rights, but there is no space for creativity. So that's uh, what you see in my paper, you see, because I have only 15 minutes. So that's what I mentioned also. You see, what I write, you see, that I relate that uh, human freedom, freedom and uh, property right uh, with creativity. If we abandon that, you see now the path we have in the Bible, the parable of the talents. That's something about creativity, you see, I'm because surprised. Because you're called to be co-creator somehow. Yes, of course. It's the theology of creation, you see, that's uh, yeah. something what the Michael and Lopak, you see, try to see, you know, to uh, sell in the United States, uh, even further, where the free market, uh, if uh, we have free, uh, more free market than we have here, he didn't manage to do it. Okay, it's another question. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks.